hi everyone and welcome back now we are going to work on the the card component and the checkout page okay so before that we can inspect our redux state so our redux state is a little bit deep for the auth you can see this is how the auth works auth 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 okay state dot auth dot auth and, and there we have these three properties is auth and the current user so based on that we need to do auth dot dot auth sometimes because this is how we have to destructure the the data so we did i did some changes in the auth selector so this auth selector is currently giving me the auth so if you want to just uh, get the right data so here this selector will decide like what data you are getting from the root state so this is my current state state dot auth so it is giving us these three properties auth register current user and token right and uh, we can check if user is logged in or not using auth dot is auth property so i did the same changes everywhere so here i'm destructuring the auth object directly so what i'm getting uh, from this is directly is auth property so i'm getting this object directly and i can just play with this auth dot is auth that will give me okay true or false and based on that i'm just fetching the cart menu items okay so what we need to do uh, we go to our cart component so this is our restaurant page from here in the bottom we are rendering in the right hand side the cart component and in the cart component because we already have the redux state for the cart items cart menu items right so this is how we are getting the cart menu items this is the selector state dot cart dot cart so do we have something like that state dot cart dot cart you can see the data is currently empty right so state dot cart dot cart will give me the data data is actually an array which contains the menu items and all so state dot cart dot cart this is what you are giving in the cart selector and that we are using in our component so once we get the the data we will destructure the data from the object so we are actually getting this object which contains the menu items so i'm extracting the menu items menu items length is greater than zero i'm going to render all the menu items through the loop that's it i just need to calculate the the label and the price right price the count and you can also show the little image if you want to show but name and the price is fine for now so i will just go to here i will just go to So here is one catch uh, we need to actually fetch the cart items from the on the landing page because currently i have added something in the cart but this is showing empty cart when i click on to this item i'm going to the restaurant page and there i'm making this api call and i can see this is coming up so but this should come up on my landing page also so what change we need to do here is go to our restaurant page we are doing some uh, some basic call using use effect this needs to happen because we need to populate if you already have something in the card from the home page so we are on the home page i can just uh, do this dispatch action auth dot is auth which i can get from here auth selector I can get the auth selector, import this from auth slice, auth and fetch cart items. And now if I go to my UI, I do see that cart items are now populated and that's what I want. In the menu items, I can see there are five cart items, part menu item, uh, four or five menu items I have added and i can see that here it's magic right this is the magic of redux state now being fetched on the front end right i can do the checkout and go to the checkout page or you can go here and you can just see the menu of the restaurant here at the right hand side you will still see all the menu items which you have already added and here i can just do add you can see i have added this menu item added now if i remove it it's gone and i i mean there are like lot many items already added so i need to check i have added this four times 
one i removed it second times i removed it three times and fourth time and this item is gone so this is how my menu item works and uh, i'm pretty much satisfied with this this is how it really works you can also show a little delete button what delete button will do is it will actually remove the items from the cart or we can just show put a minus icon which will just delete because here otherwise user has to come back to the the landing page and see okay which item uh, the user needs to delete so instead of that my idea is uh, giving a small button minus here so if you want to increase and decrease you can do it from here that's like uh, the ux uh, improvement that's that's a must we have to do it now when i do the checkout we need to work on the checkout page so currently that is broken we will fix it but this is how our redux state looks like right now we are making all these api calls and we will work on the order service because when you create a when you do the checkout that means you are really interested in placing the order so we can just create an order in the draft status then you will do the payments and select an address all these things are going to the next level from this page onwards so this is our checkout page uh, which it, this is how it looks like what we need to do go to home page here we can see all the menu items and this is our restaurant listing page and i will do the checkout okay checkout is just a sum of uh, all the things which we have done this is all the 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 menu items which is there in the redux state this is the total price total same as this right and this is like we need to manage our addresses so this is let's say my current address and i can click on to this button we will open the left name and uh, currently this is not functional i just created this simple ui which just contains some multiple tabs and just a simple methods because we are going to integrate with the stripe from the front end when you click on to the pay uh, like something like uh, whatever the button you click or when you reload this page there is a default uh, submissions right we are getting submit then uh, here we can add a simple stripe integration at the front end side there you can do the actual payment of the order which you have created so when you do the checkout we are going to create a generate order id by calling the order service right because if the order exists as a draft then you can do the payment payment service will notify the order okay the order has been placed and this is how you can manage the address we already have the api to manage the user addresses multiple addresses and you can select the one address while creating the placing the order so what we are doing here is this is my checkout page here we are getting okay the cart menu items whatever you have selected the, the cart item selector and the current user because we are showing the current user and here we also need to have an address slice so that we can fetch all the addresses which we have in the system let me first delete these two files So here we can do that in the auth slice similarly there can be a user slice which is going to fetch the user preference user addresses anything that is related related to the logged in user even user order history that also we can fetch uh, through which we can put that in the user state object tree because this is a redux tree and this is how we are managing the data so inside a user slice we can maintain okay user prefer user addresses all the previous user orders and all the user preferences which user has selected in the past okay so if you look into the checkout page it's very simple page nothing much here and nothing much functional that's what i'm saying is here we are just getting if user is authenticated so this checkout page is we are not using the layouts it has its own header and this is if authenticated just show the current username and all this is the first block otherwise uh, if it is not logged in then let's say you logged out right okay we are importing these actions somewhere we need to remove these imports from everywhere start cart actions let's see where are we using this old code Okay, let's say if you logged out then also we should be able to go to the checkout page i mean that will show this time t that you do the login and it will just show you this pop-up because here we are using the same action when you click on to this 
what is happening if you go to the checkout page we are opening this model pop up set uh, set open login sign up right similarly when you click on to this uh, add address let's say you are logged in login with google and i do simply login and i can see my redux state populated everything comes up right on the fly so similarly here we have add new so i want to open a side new bar from the the left this sign up is coming up from the right so we can have some kind of a form where you can populate the address of the user simple symbol simple react redux form simple react form you submit add new address we just list all the addresses here just using the for loop and we just create address slice so what we need to do we just we are just using this tailwind forms tailwind model pop-ups so let's see how we are doing this uh, sign up so set open login sign up this we are passing from this right similarly there can be another model pop-up right open address model address form this we need to pass from the parent component so this is all these being passed from the the router and same as this we can just do a simple on click action to the addresses so this is your current address and if you want to add a new address and i will just add on click Simple, I will just add on click or I think I just copied the whole block set open login sign up so similarly this is set open address form on the click of this button and I lost it where it where I was add new address okay so we need to configure this in my root component so this is my router where do i i have my root router let's find that out all routes here i'm passing i will be passing all of these things and in my checkout page which is here i will be calling this and then where this component is this component is being passed from the the parent component that is our root component app dot tsx i mean this is really not a nice design i we need to improve it and i need to use the the react context to trigger these actions not like prof drilling from one parent to another pa child to another child okay that's a simple refactoring i will do it right after this video that after open this form and here i will have a simple Huge state hook set open address form so this is open address form that is initially false when you click on it that will become true and here i'm going to have a component that is let's say the address form address form and this will get open only when when you set this open field true and load login no we don't need to load it when at the time so component here this component i'm going to create inside mother user component user and this is address sign up address form and the component name is address form okay so address form dot tsx we need to create inside components user i will create a new folder user and then i will just create a new page new component tsx sorry it should be tsx okay for now i will just try to copy this uh, sign up form which we have login sign up okay then I will do the changes because this is what I want. Address form. Okay, this is why it is complaining. 
okay it looks nice now there is no complaints we'll just format this let us form now i will go to the styles and try to see how this is being uh, popped up right on close drawer overlay drawer body justify content margin top so this is another box now we're just trying to replicate uh, the sign up form whatever we have so here we have address form component and the login sign up component i was trying to repl replicate it uh, so this is what we are using uh, chakra ui react and i was just trying to create this drawer component chakra ui react and the drawer component i was using this is how you can just create a simple drawer drawer body and uh, you need to pass the reference the reference and then you can see here is open you are passing this use disclosure right i was just trying to look into this example and try to see if i can implement the same for implementing my model pop-up i don't want to write much code so this model pop-up looks simple like uh, we just need to pass the how you are opening it that we will be passing as a props is open and then everything is controlled by this use disclosure this is a drawer component from chakra ui model same we are using in our component this is our address form this is the property we are getting from the parent component which is a boolean so based on that we will be just up and when you close it we are just doing on close okay and this is a simple form here what we will do is we'll create a simple address form which contains input text field and all so either you can write a simple tailwind form or we can use this input text field like a login sign up component form we had i can use some form from here i can take some inspiration i can just create a simple input text fields and i will copy paste it inside my address form so this input text login to your account this is my box so i have created a nested box let's see how it looks like so this is the box width is 80 percent text is add new address and here you can remove this text component So and this box component also we can remove that is outside wrapper. But now I will just say we will have some state. Let's say inside login we have a login state, right? I won't be doing so many validations here. Login state. Something like this because we need to we need to get a city state and address or few uh, few elements from the address form so this is my state address and let's say set address so here i will have a city state and address and if you can enter the nearest landmark that is also fine landmark okay so the thing is address.city state all these will pop populate address state address.city this is what we are adding as a city on set login state so this is the method we need to add or set address the name is uh, here we are passing city event dot target dot name that is fine this thing we need to populate everywhere so this is city and this is let's say the state name is state set address address dot state 
now what is other parameter we need we need to have city state address i will just change this to other field which is address now this is like address line simple text that address so that will work so this is like user address user address this is user state or i will just say state and this is city this is how we are capturing the 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 full state object okay and this is where we have the button which is like okay create address and we need to dispatch an action from here so i will add a method now let's see how it looks like okay city state and address and instead of login just some placeholder values we need to fix this is and address right and the placeholder values we can fix them so this is input type text everything is text okay so now so this is placeholder is city state and user address so this is how this form looks like city state and the address a simple form i don't want to put uh, more time on just building this form it's a, just a simple crud we have in the apis add new address and uh, we can dispatch an action from this component so this is our component right here we have all these properties so what we will do is when you click on to this button there is already handler create address so on the create address we can just dispatch uh, we already have created address slice that we will dispatch here so we do have redux address slice on the user user slice here we will fetch the the list of addresses and we'll pro provide a way to create a new address we can just check uh, the user preference service that is on 3001 yes here this is how we will get the, the list of addresses. I need to pass the, the authorization token for that. And this is API v1 users addresses. Okay, so let's see that. You can add a couple of more fields, whatever is required in this form, make it this form a little nicer than this. And when you click on create address, we will populate this address in our APIs. I will copy my cart slice and put it in the user slice because that is a close match. So this is the user state. So it can have lots of things. Addresses is one of it. Addresses, your order history, like all your past orders. That is also of type API data. This is the user state. Okay, and here we can have fetch addresses. Similarly, there will be another method which will talks about, okay, give me all your uh, orders, fetch orders. And that we can maintain in the user state tree object. And here, this is my initial state. Fetch address and fetch orders. And this is my initial state which is addresses it should be es because these will be the multiple addresses orders will also be of type uh, api data and orders and all this both will be an array of object array of objects so it will be and this will become a user state and this will become a user slice 
so this is a user state user slice and we are going to play with these apis so the api is a fetch address and the create address so this is fetch order fetch address then there is another api which is create address so we are just populating create address fetch address and uh, fetch orders okay i will just just remember you need to change all these action names fetch orders okay fetch addresses we don't need to pass any parameter this is optional you can just pass null but you need to get the current state and where a token you need to pass so here i will just make this api call fetch address this is create address and here you need to pass the payload okay so this uh, argument is my payload so config uh, payload and config create address fetch address and then there is a this api call we will take care later because we need to build the order service for that fetch address create address and fetch address these are the two api calls which we need to configure so this is like uh, what is the api call fetch address and create address so this is fetch address and then this is create address so create address it will have payload config it is going to be post and it is going to be api v1 users addresses and then this is create address this is fetch address this is users addresses if i check my apis this is es users addresses and we will check uh, our uh, proxy have we configured this for api v1 users api v1 users okay we do have something so we are good here fetch address we just need to pass the config and we are passing just a config it's going to be http get okay we got the response dot data now i mean the the user slice is configured we just need to change the actions and all let's say the fetch address here it will become fetch address and then we need to configure the create address so i can just take care of only full field fetch address dot full field dot type and then there is something create address full field dot type these are the two actions we have and we are dealing with the user state so based on that here we are going to update addresses and when you are creating a new address either we return the all the address or we go to addresses and inside this uh, we can do state dot addresses dot data dot push and action dot payload i'm not sure what we are returning but this is how we can just push the inside the data the newly created address and then this is a user slice and this is a user address selector here we can expose multiple selector user addresses selector state dot user dot so how the the state looks like for this inside a store state dot user this we need to add a user and this is a user reducer which we need to import import user reducer from we are going to get it from the user and user dot slice so our state looks like user let's go to the user So our state looks like user dot uh, here we have the interface user dot addresses user dot addresses we can expose state dot user dot 
kid.user.addresses and there will be another selector we can have which talks about orders which is user order selectors there you can just fetch all the the previous history of the user ad, uh, orders okay this looks correct user address selector that we can just use this selector in our component and fetch all the list of uh, uh, addresses because inside this we just have only data property you can see this data contains an array of all the addresses this is an array okay this is an array this is an array so we are good uh, i can just call this fetch address uh, method but for that user needs to be logged in and you can pass this you can call this action anytime because we need address at the checkout phase so it's better we call this on the checkout screen fetch addresses so go to the checkout page and call it uh, okay page a checkout and if it is true then we need to make another call auth dot is auth dispatch fetch addresses you can pass null because there is one argument we are passing so these two actions we need to trigger only if user is logged in so we'll just wrap it inside this so this is to bootstrap our ui because we need to show the existing cart menu items all the existing addresses which user has so now it will call this as the bearer token fetch all the addresses it is making api v1 users addresses and let's see our app is it making this api call getting the addresses or not i will check the network tab reload the page remove the debugger here i did logged in here i'm getting all the addresses which is empty so what i will do is i we can just use this dispatch here I'm getting uh, our form, right? City, state, and address. And what do we need for the post API? City, state, street. Let's map it with a street and name. Name is like office address, home address, uh, PZ address, or something like that. Rest we can populate city, state, and the street at least these three properties we should populate so we'll go to the component so here i will go inside this the another address is so this is a street and i will just map this with a street instead of address this is a street and here we can just use use dispatch use dispatch and So here when, when you are doing it, I can just simply say dispatch create address that needs some payload. So I will just pass the address and few things I can just populate uh, because we don't need a really landmark. This is an address object. So this is my address object uh, country. I'm not sure like what is required and what is optional so I can check it by checking passing something in the network tab let's see what is required and what is optional by hitting this API so this is our address API I will authorize this service and will create an address okay address ID pin code Few things I can just try to populate by my side and you can have your own form for that so this is address rest all are like I populated by myself what happened with this create address is a method happen with this create address okay we are calling this is create new address let's say 
update this here create new address and this is what we are dispatching user slice and we are passing something like this you can populate uh, data and this would be able to create a uh, address for us so let's see when you are dispatching it we also need to close it right so we can call on close okay let's check it on our ui if you are able to create an address so i'm adding a new address city city jaipur the rajasthan user address is add address so yes it called this address api and it really has been created now we will just check our redux state also what are we populating there are we getting something for the address i can see we see that we are populating an address object here right so what i will do is i will create some nice and clean addresses so okay what all properties we can render on the ui so here we go to our checkout page we need to use our selector for that we have address selector okay user address selector which gives me what uh, it is giving me the data till data so i can just use something like okay this is the data which contains the addresses addresses okay and i can just loop into loop on to this data so here i'm trying to show some addresses which i can see deliver here so we can just run a loop we can just run a loop on to this add a new address let me see what we need to run a loop here we can run a loop on to the addresses here i can just see i dot street i dot city and state state and let's see here i can see the addresses right we are not populating the addresses properly i dot street let me see what we are getting in the apis so we can hit the list which gives me all my addresses this contains the city name 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 and street street is street name full addresses and all these properties that we can populate h1 is the name then we can have h3 H4 is the street and then city, state, pin code, all these information. Here I can see pin code and the country. So this can be H6. and you can select one of it right when you click on to this what we are going to do you we are going to consider that you are you are clicking on to this so we will just say okay this is a selected address for uh, delivering the item select address and this is what we are selecting we'll just define this method And let's see our ui okay something wrong i am passing this i select address okay this is address of type any 
so here you can see i just need to refactor this a little bit we can just create a rounded square boxes it is coming as paragraph h4 h1 so this is how we are showing our addresses and this looks fine for now so when you click on to this what we are going to do we are going to mark this address as a selected address for that also you can dispatch an actions and this we are going to store this address id that we can use in the delivery service because this is selected address and these are the selected menu items which you are putting so we are done with most of our front end stuff now our thing is we are going to create an order service and then we will see how we can do the stripe integration for the payments